I went in, went ahead and wrote in the questions for uh, examples B, C, and D here. They're all about, uh, all ask you to graph a bunch of different functions that are all related. All of the functions in B are versions of some number times the square root of x, and it's asking you to graph each of these. Uh, y equals square root of x, y equals 2 square roots of x, 3 square roots of x, 4 square roots of x. Example C asks you to put those same numbers inside the root and then graph it. So square root of 1x, square root of 2x, and so forth. And then example D is asking you to, again, graph roots, but this time put fractions outside. Uh, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4. Now obviously it would take quite a while to uh, draw xy tables of all these, so I'm going to show you another nifty function of that uh, Desmos graphing calculator that we've been working with. If I plug in y equals, and then I pick a value, uh, variable, say a, and then square root of, and then another variable, we'll say b, x, then we're in a position where we could actually change our values for a right here and our values for b right here and graph each of those different kinds of uh, graphs that it asks us to all at once, one on top of another without having to go through and recalculate everything every time. So the other thing the Desmos calculator does that I really like is when you put in an extra variable, it asks you if you want to add a slider. So I'm going to just say all here, and it's going to add a slider for A and B. Now I can just drag this slider left to right, and it'll change the values for A. So right now it's graphing Y equals square root of X. If I change this A to 2, now we have Y equals 2 square roots of X. And I can go ahead and sort of draw that in there. There's y equals, oops, that's pretty bad drawing, sorry. Let's try that again. And yeah, there we go, that's a little better. I don't know why I need to do that, but we're going to do it anyway. So y equals 2 roots of x. And then as we go back through and continue dragging along, we get 3 roots of x, 4 roots of x, and so on. Then if we want to see what happens when we put numbers inside the root, we just change b. We'll put a back to 1 and start changing b. And as we put values inside the x, here's y equals square root of 2x. And you can see it does a similar thing. It actually um, does put or does move the graph up from its start, but it doesn't move it up as much because effectively what we're doing is multiplying x by the square root of 2 instead of by 2, so it doesn't have as much of an effect as fast. And then if we go to down here and start multiplying, put the b back as 1, and then start multiplying by a fraction outside, which was the other set of functions it asked us to do, we can see the line starts to get straighter and straighter and straighter as the fraction gets smaller and smaller, right down to 0. And at 0, of course, what we're doing then is taking 0 times whatever's in here, and then it doesn't matter what x is. No matter what number x happens to be, everything over here is going to be 0. So y is always 0 no matter what x is. So we get this straight line across the bottom of the screen. So this Desmos calculator is a great way to just sort of play around with different values and see what happens as you change different inputs. You can get a feel for how the base graph, the y equals uh, square root of x, changes based on adding in different numbers in different places of the graph. And there's that y equals square root of x. They call that the uh, parent function for the family.